Today I am just going to do a couple laps around my block and I don't know what else but once I get home I'll figure that out. I probably do like a YouTube dance video. It's been a while since I've done one of those. My body has kind of, kind of been fluctuating in you know my physical activities. I go from being consistent to being a little inconsistent and it's really just about timing. It's so hard. I get about three days a week in right now and in the beginning I was shooting for five days a week and then I was like ah man I'm barely working out at all and now I'm about trying to do about three days a week. Anyway, let's get into it. Just got my mail. I was just listening to this podcast. I love it already. The psychologist on this episode said something that I really, really vibe with. It's actually more normal and should be more accepted when people are anxious or hurting or are sad. But unfortunately, the society we live in kind of promotes the belief that happiness is a choice. Do things that make you happy, do things that make you feel good. But his point was that if things happen to you that are beyond your control and you're not gonna always feel happy. Our bodies weren't designed for happiness, they were designed for survival. So sometimes it's literally about making it through until the next day. It's not about feeling good until the next day, it's not about getting what you want, it's literally about surviving. And then there will be those precious moments that you live for and really need to enjoy when they're there that you do feel happy. But happiness isn't exactly a one and done type of situation. Should be fighting over you No second guessing what I'm saying 
They are having some technical support being done at work right now. So I'm gonna use this quick time where we're not working to spray my hair and make it look somewhat decent. Hold on.
doing a ponytail today because I need a retwist and my hair is starting to look and smell kind of jank so I'm just putting it away okay with a headband headbands protect my eczema spot right here from being too exposed all day it decreases the chances of it flaking and the flaking getting everywhere these headbands are just a lifesaver It's nap time. They haven't sent us to, to break yet, but I'm gonna try and get him to fall asleep before my break so that I can use my break to prepare for the nanny. The nanny gets here once his second, once he's finished with his first nap and then she's with him all the way until he goes down for his second nap. So at 11 o'clock, my life's about to get a lot easier. They just sent us to break, so I, whew, I'm exhausted. Dealing with him and working at the same time is no joke, but it's nap time now. Say bye bye, Bubba Show. Say bye bye, it's nap time. actually a lot easier than it normally is I guess he knew he was on camera he needed to act right but normally he's a fussy little stinker when it comes to that first nap he's a stinker with both of his naps really he might be crossing over into only wanting one nap a day but for right now I just he's going down for two naps because this little boy is a busy baby he's almost a year old my baby's almost a year old my break is like done in like five minutes. So I don't have time for a long tangent about nannies, but I have been up and down through this whole finding a nanny process. And I still don't know all the ins and outs, but I was fortunate enough to finally find a steady, stable nanny that gives me literally everything that I need in a nanny. I just really needed help with like the busy part of the day. My mornings at work are usually not that uh, busy. Of course, I'm still in training right now. I'm still in training. We have a really long training, so I'm on week eight, I think, of my training. Find you a nanny that fits your needs because my nanny, she like reads me like a book. She so lovingly takes care of Malachi's laundry for us. My break is over in one minute, so I'm rushing. Come on, hurry up. Wash some of these. So when you say that we should be pulling our calls up. Okay, guys, it is my lunch time. The nanny's here. She's with Kai now, and that means that I am officially off mom duty. Never really off mom duty, but you know what I mean. And I'm gonna make myself a sandwich with some hot Cheetos and a pickle. That's my favorite lunch ever.
patouk. I'm on my second break now. I just went for a quick walk. I'm just starting to feel like ready for the day to be over. So I wanted to get out, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Actually, my, uh, my area out here where I live is under an excessive heat warning. Like it's supposed to be dangerous to be outside right now. Do I look scared? I'm good but I am about to go inside so I just like to get up and stretch my legs you know and being outside helps me think clearly helps me take a deep breath into the fresh air that God gave us and be like what is life Malachi is about to take his second nap and I am going to finish working the last two hours of work are always the most painful because they take so much longer than every other hour of the day the day is like flying 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 until it hits like 2 p.m when i get off that's when malachi will be waking up and the hope is that his dad is already home so that i can go take a load off of my brain and be not mommy not employee but just chris for a moment if not if he doesn't make it home by 4 30 then i'll have to feed malachi his dinner probably prep some dinner for myself and then i'm chilling that sun is doing something right now look at me do you see it mm -hmm. what do you guys do on your lunch breaks drop it down in the comment i'll be doing chores and laundry i'll go for a walk i could literally do anything because i'm right here at home okay guys the nanny just went home Malachi is down for sleep. I was just getting up to, honestly, I'm supposed to be doing something else, but I just felt the need to get up out of my chair for a while. See, this is the struggle of working from home. I was like trying to tell everybody, it's so hard to stay focused as it is, but then it's even harder that you got to stay focused and sit in one place all day. How's my brain and my body supposed to sit still for eight hours? I'm doing it. I'm just saying. I'm getting this crazy vibration. Every time I say I'm going to record the podcast, I try to set up my day exactly for the perfect moment to record the podcast. And then guess what? That moment never comes. Maybe I should just sit there in that chair, put my tripod up, and record a podcast. Whoa, you're a strong little man. 
Riley wants to go out again. I'm coming, girl. Hang tight. Hang tight for a second, man. It's hot out there. You don't want to go out there. <laughs> You got all them toys over there. Leave the vacuum alone, sir. Bubba sugar. Let's go this way now. <laughs> Malachi doesn't have to eat for another like 15 minutes. So I think I'm gonna start dinner. You wanna watch mama cook? Yeah. I have dinner cooking. And I'm gonna hide out in here <sighs> while I turn off for a second. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay, dinner came out delicious. There's the fish. I already made plates though. So it's it's curry shrimp now. I made these little sushi nori things. I feel so creative. I looked it up online and it's like a sushi sandwich. So I've got tilapia, uh, the sushimi crab, the uh, fish, imitation crab, that's what it's called. Avocado fish uh, and orange and yellow bell. Okay, don't call me crazy, but I really think I can get this little bit of laundry folded before doing my shower and everything. 
I want to fold this laundry because it's sitting on the bed. I don't gotta fold it all, but the laundry basket over here, let me just show y'all. This laundry basket right here is already full. So it only has room for a little bit more stuff. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of clothes on my bed. So I can't put them all into that laundry basket. Some might fit on top. I just kind of don't stop. I go from work to mom, to work, to uh, cook, cleaning. I am so happy that the day is over because it's one day closer to Friday, y'all. I am filming this on a Thursday. Tomorrow at work, we have some assessments to do. We did assessments today because we're getting toward the final week of training. And whew, it is actually making my brain, like I leave work daily with migraines. I don't know if it's because of the whole work from home, stare at a screen, eight hours a day thing, or if it's literally like, too much information from my brain all at once. Whatever it is, I've turned my screen brightness all the way down and I wear my glasses so that I don't strain my eyes at the computer. I make sure that I'm paying attention to my posture and drinking water throughout the day. My body will adapt. But I'm more of an on-the-job training type of person. Like, I'm, I'm a hands-on learner and I feel like that's when my brain will kind of be at rest is when I'm doing the job. But for those who don't already know, my work from home job is with an insurance company. So I'm pretty much doing member services, learning to speak insurance lingo and understand the meaning of insurance and all the ins and outs is like something else that's something i've never never dabbled in i have a lot of experience with customer service but insurance that's a whole nother realm for me i'm okay with it though i'm enjoying i'm enjoying learning something new i think it's the mental exhaustion of it all that really catches up with me and i have a job that's been super understanding to the days that i'm like hey i don't have a nanny today Now, it's me